So I wanted to make this video to point out the fact that many of us, just like the lost world, can make idols out of our chief spiritual leaders in the Reformed faith. I just got done reading an email from one of my subscribers in which she talked about for three paragraphs, three whole paragraphs, just how amazing this pastor is. Now, I'm not going to name the pastor, but he's definitely someone that we regard as one of the best today. But I wanted to post this video from Paul Washer as a reminder to us that even the greatest pastor is just a sinful man saved by the grace of God. He's just a man and that we should not place him on a pedestal for simply being biblical. One of the reasons why after what happened to me, I, I will still at times preach conferences and stuff, but I don't really like them very much. They're good, but for me, it's just not my, it's just not my thing. I guess what I want to say is that there are no, you go to the conference sometimes and all the people will want to meet you and shake your hand. Um, and that's wonderful. I mean, that's, that's wonderful. That's, that's, but people look at you sometimes wrongly. They think you're special. That maybe God has you up on the platform because you're holier or you're more spiritual or you pray more. I have discovered that God's finest men, he hides them and keeps them for himself. They're not necessarily up on the platform. The one thing that I've learned more than anything else is there's only one hero to this story and it's Jesus Christ. Everyone else is a failure who got saved.